that uh, the stuff towards the end were you there when that happened or were you there during like the glory days aspect of it yeah i was there more during the glory days because i know like they ended up subpoenaing a bunch of players yeah. and i mean you know in the coast you're supposed to make what 30 to forty thousand a year yeah. we were making anywhere from 200 to five hundred thousand a year and Holy we weren't sh- paying for anything and we were living in these houses these cabins that we were supposed to be paying rent for but we didn't pay rent for them they were paid already and then we were getting checks to pay the rent so i mean that's all the money kind of just built up that way like it was different I think on the books, I probably made like $300 a week, but <laughs> you know, my wife got a job working at the trashing company where she, she had to call people if they had outdated bills and she would get paid like a thousand a week just to do that for the two hours that I was at practice. To be honest, I've watched that documentary and it doesn't even do it justice. How cool? Yeah, really? It was way, way, way more, more wild than that. Who was the guy with the cigar in the documentary? He was like the oh, equipment manager, right? That's T-Bone. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, T-Bone. Yeah. T-Bone. Yeah, so. <laughs> 